These are some of the worst gadgets ever. Some are kind of cool, but you sure will enjoy. Hello, guys. Ready to be amazed? Let's go! Red Hydrogen 1. Kind of gimmicky device with no explanation for being created at first, but you will be amazed by its awesome capabilities when you first see it. I mean, it was one of its kind, don't you guys think? At first glance, all I thought about was to get one of those, you know, the red look-alike thing button that says Red Media Machine Hydrogen that almost no one knew what it was made for, but it added a futuristic style to it, great references, and everyone talking about it. On top of that, came from a company that used to make expensive cameras for filming movies. What else can go wrong? Presumably to have a no-glasses 3D screen. Cool, wow, and very nice though. But the functionality was old by the time when 3D existing apps to do that on your photos on any other smartphone, but new as well, any phone had it back then. With an app called Holopic, an unknown similar version of Instagram, which perhaps most of you haven't heard of. The fact of having this phone was nice for its uniqueness. We all believe a releasing date in November 2018 after multiple delays could have been late, but with iPhone and Samsung Galaxy already having taken over the market, there's not much to do with such a bad device. And I didn't even mention that the price was over $1,000. Crazy. Modules were supposed to boost up the phone, cinematic camera module, and battery module. Didn't sound bad. You see those little dots at the back? But still have to wait for a release date for them too. Not so good. After the founder, due to some health issues, announced retirement, the Red Hydrogen Project was cancelled. But everybody knows that the main reason is that there was not much to do against the two giants already on stage. All left to say is that I would have loved this amazing phone to be a massive win, but it ended up being a massive wink. U-Force NES Controller When you are a kid in the early 90s, Everything was about using mechanical controllers and pressing physical buttons to destroy your enemies on the screen, while sitting on the carpet during a regular evening. When it comes to Nintendo, you could expect the unexpected, releasing risky but very cool gadgets back on the days with signs of keep on doing it. For instance, who doesn't remember the epic gauntlet peripheral? If you didn't hear about it, this is it. Saw the light when released back in 1989, only two games were made for the device, so far what? Named Super Glove Ball and Bad Street Brawler, and that was it. Which both video games could be played with a regular NES controller, but sure, it was fun using the gauntlet. But in case you don't remember this awesome gadget, you probably watched the movie The Wizard played by the back then. Famous young celebrity Fred Savage, yes, the little kid from the Wonder Years TV series. In the movie, they pull out the Nintendo gauntlet out of its package as a holy relic. Awesome. An unnecessary but really cool gadget to have when looking back in time from today's perspective. It could have been more than a just a fancy pricey accessory, but it opened the doors for kinetic and virtual reality as we know it now. Just out of its time, anyway. Newton Message Pad 2100 Who seriously wouldn't recognize this device? Cool gadgets are not always that nice in their humble beginning. Targeting mainly the business market, a not-so-cool looking gadget, I gotta be honest, was launched to the public a bit before the iPad, as you can imagine. This multitasking device had an astonishing 8 MB of RAM, but hang on there, it splits in 4 MB of DRAM and 4 MB of flash RAM. Wow, that zero power at all? Less than a couple of MP3 songs in my phone. Having a 16-level grayscale backlit LCD display and a resolution of 480 by 320 at 100 dpi for using with a provided stylus, also electroluminescent backlighting in 16 different shades of gray. The Newton Message Pad 2100 is also notable as it is the only released by the briefly alive Newton Inc., an Apple spin-off company Maybe the idea was not bad at first, but we must ag that the best time for such a device could have been a couple decades later, I must add. This company released this unlucky gadget in October 20th of 1997. Apple Newton Message Pad had to be shut down just a few months later back in February 27th, 1998. One of the first devices attempting to recognize natural handwriting through a basic form of artificial intelligence. 
I hope you guys are enjoying the video, so why not give us a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to the channel meanwhile you know. Otherwise, you will be making this gadget so sad. Let's get back to the video. The No Phone You better be hanging on the edge of your seat because this might be the coolest and unnecessary gadget of this top six you may want to have. What do I mean by that, you might wonder? A device with an unbelievable zero gigabytes of storage, no MP, three functionality, comes with no apps previously installed, zero megapixels on the front and rear camera, and nope, any of that 100 times zoom lens. With the same size as a regular iPhone, in fact, just a piece of solid plastic that does nothing at all but sitting on your desk. But there is anything wrong with it. I mean, it's kind of nice. But the best of it is the main feature that aims to a particular type of consumer. Behind the Zero Phone, there is a theory which focuses on phone addicts that can't let go on their actual phone. How does it work? Let me tell you, when the user has a feeling of a familiar weight and size object in their pocket, provides them calm and comfort. As well as seeing something shaped like their phone on front of them right on the table, they might have the need of picking it up, open an app, and start playing, but I bet they will get bored in a blink of an eye. Zero device interaction. That's when the user remembers this is just a black rectangle piece of plastic on front of them. Very useful for therapies and this type of issue. In case you don't want one of these but you think you need it, they sell them either in a single piece or it comes in a familiar bundle too. Sorry there's not fancy cases for it, but you won't need it. Quite an interesting gadget that does nothing but you may still want it. Which by the way comes in no colors but black. I mean, the package is nice though. Torpedo Entertainment Projector A gadget that can keep kids entertained for at least one episode of your favorite series. You might have heard of what's called the screen door effect. Something curious that happens with low-end LCD projectors, which would be a light from the sky enlightening you up compared to this alien-looking device. One, if not, the creepiest projector ever made. I mean, doesn't it look like a sort of poorly designed water blaster from the 80s or something? First of all, a humble regular projector comes in a 1080p by 720p resolution. This monstrosity has a disappointed 920 by 240 and not even sure whether it is what you are watching or not. My old Sony Ericsson Walkman phone does better than that. Not to mention that it measures the lowest light levels of any projector that has ever conceived. I must accept that it does look cool at first sight. But when you see the price of $167, you might want to think twice, especially with other options out there for under $100. Twitter Peak. You guys are going to love this one, the only device with a screen and buttons that does nothing but one thing. I can't believe this one here, and this is not a joke or any fake news. This brings you to a question where you wonder why something like this ever exists. But let's be fair for a moment. If you look at it, you see a decent sized screen and maybe a nice designed device that fits in your hand. But the question is, do heavy tweeter users don't have a phone with the app installed yet? You see on this low resolution screen, only the first 20 on every message. Also, you have to scroll a lot in order to read the entire tweet. If the issue for you is to tap on a link to check on a link, that's not going to happen. This is a tweeting exclusive device, only did you forget that. So websites won't be accessible either. Comes with an initial price of $99, but increases to $199 for lifetime access, no matter if you're unable to stand this thing for five minutes. Saying something nice about this comes near to impossible. It's annoying and gives you headaches. Throwing it to the closest lake sounds almost logical, but that would be littering, which is throwing garbage away. Literally. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button right now. If you enjoyed the video, drop a comment saying gadgets are cool. This is my favorite one. Stay tuned for another video of cool gadgets like these. We also have these videos here you might want to check out. Thank you for watching.